All right, this is the ARM booth. I'm here with Max, who will tell me a little bit more about the multi-clock. Yo, hey, uh, I'm Max from ARM, and um, we have our new product, multi-clock, here. And um, we solved the problem of audio sync um, from a DLW to our outbound gear, like analog gear, modular gear, uh, MIDI DIN sync gear. And um, the whole secret is that we don't sync to MIDI clock or any other jittery clock, but to uh, audio clock. And we have a plug-in um, on the computer running, and I start it now. Which, um, which generates a very stable audio clock signal and sends it to our uh, multi-clock. And um, it converts it then to um, MIDI clock, DIN sync clock, analog clock and uh, analog LFOs. And you can shift around every channel around in time or shuffle it and um, start and stop them on the fly. Um, that's basically what the multi-clock does, so get rid of jitter and start uh, syncing your analog gear solidly to a DAW. Yeah, and so what kind of outputs does it exactly have on the back? It has four channels which are uh, individually controllable, um, um, which are MIDI, DIN sync, uh, analog clock, analog LFO. Okay. So the analog LFO you can also control via the DAW on the computer, right? Or is it inside the box uh, standalone? The analog LFO is in the box standalone, and you can uh, control analog uh, the modular and whatever with it. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And can you tell me a little bit more about the company ERM? Because um, last year I think uh, you came out with another clock device. Yeah, we uh, the first product was uh, the MIDI clock, MIDI clock plus now, which is a master clock generator for MIDI and DIN sync. And um, there is another product, cool product, the ERM Brightside, which is uh, a, a pair of uh, side ends for electron gear to lift them up in a more comfortable angle, which is actually quite important in the studio. Um, and yeah, we're a young company from Berlin with a couple of in um, creative people, and we like to solve problems, actually. Okay, cool. Thanks a lot for your time. Thanks.